Welcome back to The Big Issue and uh, good morning as well to those of you watching us on TV. And uh, just to, again, repeat our communication channels for those of you who want to send us messages uh, on the conversation we're having. We started with the Supreme Court ruling on the uh, interpretation of the 48-hour rule. Uh, my, two of my guests, uh, plus, who are lawyers, plus Frank and Kujo, have been speaking about that. But if you also want to share your thoughts on it, you can send via 0549-986-996, 0549-986-996. That is the WhatsApp line. You can send me a tweet on at East Sportsman or at City973 with the, ha with the hashtag The Big Issue. We're also streaming live on Facebook and later you can watch us via CityTube uh, on YouTube. Uh, that's our, our channel on YouTube, CityTube. Uh, you can enjoy all the videos there. So, gentlemen, we have uh, a Supreme uh, a Chief Justice nominee. Yeah. That's because in your brother, there's no news. But <laughs> what is news is that, like I just read, Mensa Thompson is of a sepa. Yeah, he, he has a thing done. Mm. Really? Mm. Uh, well, sepa. it's saying that he has not. That's uh, yeah, that's it. He has not declared mm. his assets, and so until Shrach determines that matter, he does not want uh, approval mm. or whatever it is from the appointment committee. But how did he know? Well, well that one is, that's <laughs> up to him. That's up to him. But this is a very important question. That's up to him. You see. And the constitution is clear about it. Okay. Uh, maybe just let me run through it. A person who holds a public office, mm -hmm. mentioned in clause five, you know, is the president, vice president, speaker, minister of state, chief justice, superior court judges, so and so on. That's from so high court. Forth. Yes, that's from high court, high court and so on. So a person who holds a public office, mentioned in clause five, which I have just mentioned mm -hmm. some of them, of this article, shall submit to the auditor general a written declaration of all property or assets owned by or liability owed by him whether directly or indirectly so not only your properties but also a car mm, your right. liabilities <laughs> <laughs> within three months after the coming to force of this constitution that's not so important or before taking office as the case may be. So before you take an office, public office, mm -hmm. you must submit a list of your property or assets mm -hmm. and also tell them about those you are owing and how much you are owing them. Okay. And according to Mr. Thompson, since 2008, this has not been done well, by Justin Inyabwa. Well, I don't know what he knows, but... Yeah, that would be the, And then, too, you must also do so at the end of every four years. Interesting. Okay. At the end of every four years, That's the and thing. also at the end of his term of office, so like the chief justice who is going out, yes, of would, would have done it. Have done Failure it. to declare mm -hmm. or knowingly making false declarations shall be a contravention of this constitution and shall be dealt with in accordance with Article Two Eight Seven. Two Eight Seven simply says that an allegation that the public officer has contravened or not complied with provision of this chapter shall be made to the Commissioner for Human Rights and Administrative Justice. Mm -hmm. In the case of the Commissioner for Human Rights and Administrative chief Justice to the Chief Justice, who shall, unless the person concerned makes a written admission of the contravention mm -hmm. or non-compliance, cause the matter to be investigated. Mm -hmm. And the Commissioner for well, the Shrudge or Chief mm -hmm. Justice, as the case may be, may take such action as he considers considers appropriate in respect of the results of the investigation or the admission. Okay. So the first point that we have to note is that this declaration is given to the Auditor General. Okay. It's not a matter for the public. Mm. And the Auditor General, who is solely responsible for the custody of this document. And by this, you mean not the person, but the office. The office. Oh, I'm talking about the Auditor General's office. 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 Yeah. No, I just want us to oh, clarify. Yes. 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 It's not personalized. Yes. Yeah. No, it's not. It's like the Attorney General. Mm -hmm. it, you know, normally there have been cases where when there's transition, there's yeah. no Attorney General. Yeah. The, People then say, oh, then you cannot arrest me because the Attorney General alone <laughs> is responsible. Mm -hmm. and, it surprises no, me but that there's a, there's a law. Is, there's the, a repetition the, the, of this. The legal, the legal, um, the legal service act mm. actually makes the um, solicitor general the acting 
attorney general when but you know that is true the people still file cases because <laughs> <laughs> they have heard about you already <laughs> anyway so the and the auditor general whoever occupies that position takes the oath of secrecy he takes the oath to keep and and the oath of allegiance to also ensure that the laws of Ghana <laughs> are duly complied with. That mean the, that the, the information so, cannot be known. So well, so uh, if any matter that has been entrusted to the Auditor General alone uh -huh. is disclosed, or a person says that he has evidence of it. The first point is, can a person violate the law in order to enforce the law? <laughs> uh, this is interesting. <laughs> but yes, you need to okay. 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 no, I, 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 I don't want us to dwell to too much. No, this is interesting. This is interesting because I've seen an occupied Ghana statement. The thing is this he has not adduced a copy, or he has not said that he has an official, because I've not seen. He has, made, he has made positive he has made, no, he, has made, he has made an allegation. Yes. That allegation, once you make the allegation, mm. the procedure is that you must go to Shraj. You understand? Yeah. Yes. And that is what he did. He has done. Yes. He has done. So mm -hmm. that it means that Shraj is the one to what? To investigate. But I believe that definitely as a, as a nominee. And remember mm. that the parliament invites memos yes. from the public. Yes and petitions if you have anything against the nomination. Mm -hmm. So, it is a very, I believe it, and he's not, remember, he's not the first Chief Justice nominee to have a petition him. against him. Ah, but oh, we've had a situation course, where the Ghana Bar Association of course. has actually alleged infidelity and, and that the person has not even had the moral uh, uh, <laughs> to right <be> CJ. <laughs> the moral <laughs> to even become <laughs> CJ. So, it is not as if this is a novel oh, no, situation. No, 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 People no, have no, even no, gone no, to no, court. No, so, the, what I'm just trying to say mm. is this. Once the, the appointments committee allows for people to petition mm -hmm. and he petitions you understand he will be given the opportunity to clear the issue and i think it will be one of the easiest things to clear if i have declared remember but you see there are two legs of the of the of the thing you you have a duty to declare and then at the end of every four years and look we mm -hmm. are human can't forget we are human yeah and we know and the auditor general even has had a, a, a reason to even come out to remind public officers, yeah. including certain government officers, that a lot of them have not complied with the provision. And it keeps reminding them that they should do so because it has what? Repercussions. Sometimes, human as we are, because I felt that it's something like this, the, uh, the, someone like, for example, for institutions like that, judicial, the judicial secretary, for example, should be one of the first persons to send memos around to the justice. Because honestly speaking, the volume of work they do. Mm, if, if it is it is very humanly possible that there was there probably might not have been an intention mm -hmm. to deliberately not 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 uh, fail. Mm -hmm. and, but for me, where I found to be a bit difficult, probably might be to remember. And sometimes you know you are promoted from this court mm -hmm. to the next court. Mm -hmm. You see that you remember to really fill these forms every four years. Look, it is a human. But the pen and the and the and the. The consequence, the, 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 the problem is, if you don't fill it, it is deemed to be a contravention of the Constitution, which is stated misbehavior. Mm. So it has serious implications. Mm. My hope is that when, between my colleague and I, we all know that he's one of the finest jurists. Mm. Yeah, I was getting you, to you that. Look, yeah. In terms, what, 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 in terms, what in terms of his competence, in terms of his qualifications, in terms of his, yeah, you may, not agree with, you may not agree with all <laughs> he has to his, quit that job. you may not agree with all his decisions. I know he's a literalist when it comes to his, mm. um, what do you mean by he's, a literalist? No, he's, uh, he, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a Puritan. Yeah. He, 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 he believes in the literal interpretation yeah. of the law. When the law says, like for 48 hour rule, his position will be that 48 hours is 48 hours. Yes. You know, he doesn't like to. Positive. Positivist, yes, a positivist. But these days, he's even shifted a little, you know, <laughs> with, with, with regard to some of other cases. Yeah, yeah. But he's, yeah. he's, uh, he's, uh, he's one of the <laughs> finest. Uh, but brains. Did you have a case pending there. <laughs> he's one of the finest brains <laughs> that we could, we could ever like. get. My prayer mm -hmm. is that he's able to get to the committee. The first question he asks, he produces 
his uh, uh, acknowledgement letter mm. and dismisses this okay, issue. So, so, okay, 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 so we can just, leave that in the bosom of Shraj and, and uh, uh, yeah, but, but let me but let 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 This is okay. so um, on on the point of the um, the qualification. You see, a person cannot be qualified to be a chief justice unless he's a Supreme Court judge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And before you become a Supreme Court judge, Parliament has to approve yeah. mm -hmm. of your nomination. And the criteria, in my view, is almost <laughs> the same as the criteria <laughs> to become a Chief Justice. So, as it is done for members of Parliament who want to become ministers, the substantial part of the qualification is that you must be qualified to be a member of Parliament. Mm. So, if you are already a member of Parliament, you are about 80% qualified. So ideally, what is left for a minister of such a, uh, uh, in a, such a situation is matters relating to ministerial work and not necessarily whether or not you qualify to be a minister. Okay. So relating it to this one, I think what is left, because now not only is he the number one judge in the Supreme Court. In other words, not only is he a Supreme Court justice, the justice of the Supreme which Court. Which he already is. Which is already. <laughs> but you are also going to be the administrator general yeah, and the supervisor yeah. of the judiciary. How is, this, how is this akin to the conversations around ministers of state who are said in one government and oh. the same government is, is in power after an election uh, and are being judgments judgments so this no, is not there's no, there's no, no power no, 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 so, okay. so no but the constitution still says that he must be approved yeah mm -hmm. so in actually with regards to the uh, mm. declarations of uh, assets of the assets that's no, yeah, but we, yeah but in any case the constitution mm. says every four years right so it doesn't matter whether you serve in one government every four the end of every four years so first you must declare at the end of your term you must every four years and at the end of your term so with this for me the matters must be, uh, or the questions or issues must relate to how his policy if if granted the opportunity in relation to the administration yeah. of justice, justice. Mm. as an administrator mm. and legal education and also mm. supervisor Mind you, he's the chairman of the yeah. General Legal the Council. Council. So anything <laughs> about training of lawyers, lawyers there. or persons to become lawyers, yeah. judges, is there. The even um, administration yeah. in terms of the staff, yeah. how to take care of the staff, they are all for it. So I think that that is where we might end, so that he can tell us why, and for me, all of them, now there are about 15, 15. Mm -hmm. all of them qualify. To be mm -hmm. chief justice. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't make a mistake about it. Mm -hmm. All of them qualify. So he will now have to tell us why of all mm -hmm. the other 15, mm -hmm. or maybe the rest mm -hmm. of the 14, mm -hmm. he's the best mm -hmm. suited. Mm -hmm. All right? That is where I will expect that our progressive, honorable men and women in parliament. From Monday. Well, Monday. We'll grill him. We'll, we'll, well, no, maybe not grill, but we'll, we'll have to ascertain from him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he must have made up his mind. About certain key about issues. About certain key issues. <coughs> they also live in the society. They know mm. the matters that concern. He's a teacher at the law yeah. school. Some yeah. people don't know. Yeah. I mean, one of the best yeah. Yeah. teachers. Civil, civil procedure. Civil procedure. And for us as lawyers, for me, I, procedure is about 65%, <laughs> if not 70% of the law. You may have your law cast in gold or iron, but if you check the laws, the, the court will not even have to look at the substance. That's true. So the man who so, teaches... Yes. The road to perfect law <laughs> yeah, I know. is now Chief Justice. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, but, if confirmed, yeah, so, who well, so could so become the, Chief the, Justice. Yeah. Yes. So the okay. point, the yes. point really is that I think they should concentrate and not can you sing the national anthem and oh, nobody, 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 no, nobody, 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 if if you if you listened to the vetting of the three, three. who mm. came in, yeah. they 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 dealt with the Yes, if you listen to Madame Avril uh, Johnson. Johnson, she dealt with issues of abortion. Well, incidentally, yes, she's these are people who are dealing with. But we can we can all we can all agree. Hold on, we can all agree that when he is approved or if he is approved. He is coming in at a crucial Very time crucial yes. for the add, judiciary. Yes. Yes. Let me take that from you, then we move on. He's also coming at City a time like, the time doesn't like the law too much. There's a lot of expectations. 
There's a lot of expectation in terms of reform mm. yes. and how um, the reforms are going to be progressively mm. handled. You know, I, I, I've heard that to last week when his name came up. Yeah, I had people who reached out to me and said, "Hey, can you find out what kind of person he is?" And I was like, "Go look for the judgments yeah. that he's." It's only about the judgments. But mostly, it's about legal education. See, a lot of a lot of it has to do with, and, and, and he, he has he has been welcomed across the board yeah. because he seemed to be a progressive. Mm. If you read mm. the judgments in the um, Azar uh, professor, mm. I think it was with the majority, and he seemed to be a reformist. Mm. Somebody from within who feels that things cannot be the way they, they, they mm. currently are. Mm. You know, and I think that that gives a lot of hope yeah. because, you see, let's face it, there's, the profession is a, it's a conservative profession, Mm -hmm. But at this stage of our progress, something must give. Yeah. It may not be at a fast rate, mm -hmm. but there is the need for some conscious reforms that must be carried out by, I believe, a new face. Yeah. You understand? And I think that at this juncture, he represents yeah. and carries a certain hope. Of a lot of people, the rank and file of the of the workers if, are really if, expecting. And and him to do and, the best and I I yeah. I believe that he will at least from from what I know of him, having practiced and having mm. appeared before him, I think that he 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 holds the key to leading us into the next phase of reform. Yeah. I would be surprised if I don't see some drastic changes in the way certain things are... Well, a lot of are, are, uh, lawyers... And I don't expect just mere change. Yeah. I expect drastic change yeah. in some of the things. A, a, lot of, a lot of lawyers I have spoken to seem to also share this. Yeah. What I spoke to when the, the potential CJs came between mm -hmm. him and Duche, I asked someone who is I'm close to, and I was like, who do you find? I was like, look, we the old Josephs <laughs> know who is best for the system, and we think Enini Aboa... No, the old uh, Faro. <laughs> no, the old Josephs. We think that Enini Aboa is the best that we will get at this particular point. Right. So, we wish him all the best in that. Frankly, I wanted to make a point so that we move on and well, talk about maybe, the maybe, next assembly maybe, elections. Maybe it's moot now because as I hear a lot of praises for the gentleman, um, I would always say that I would also expect that um, when matters of state come to him, mm. he would be as, as bold as you are all suggesting. Yeah. He is bold. He is bold. For, somebody, for someone who in the uh, presidential elections was able he was the only judge that actually said that in his opinion for for the fact that said there were certain infractions he was going to annul the results he was the only judge that was bold enough to say that and that that speaks volumes. the presidential in the yes, petition case. he was the only one that actually annulled the results if you read the decision yeah that's Every, right, everybody yeah. else had others but he actually went ahead to annul the results and asked for a rerun and so that for me speaks volumes of you see there are a lot of times when judges, because they are in the minority, mm. are afraid to speak their mind. That's right. And sometimes you'll be surprised that the minority decision yeah. today actually becomes the, the, the majority view in a number of the years. The same as the case. Yes. Subsequent cases have rather adopted a solo judgment. Yeah. As being the correct position, so yeah, if you have case? a judge, which case, which case is this? You know, yeah, the, 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 you know uh, the one in respect of uh, where he he said that if you, when when does the right to mm -hmm. vote accrue, mm -hmm. or when if you were if you were a voter and you had not been registered mm -hmm. as a, a, a particular voter in a particular area, mm -hmm. then do you are you eligible mm -hmm. to become a candidate? In respect of that particular, but party. of course, it was not really on the substance, but the procedure. procedure. Whether the Supreme Court but can even refer to, to themselves, themselves you a know. matter of interpretation, yeah. and, but, but not really about. And the see, and, and 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 it is important because the in issues of of justice, there are times when you need to be you need to be different. You see, when everybody else is mm. thinking in a particular way you stand out and say, no, this is what mm. should be. And it should not matter that it is unpopular. 
You see, your oh, judgment oh. speak for and exactly. about you. You see, Man, for many so, years, so let me be silly here. Would oh, you no. think the reason for making him CJ, apart from all the interesting things you said, and I'm making vested interest analysis here, mm. <laughs> would be the only reason that he annulled the elections? Oh, no, and you see, benefited. I, I, I disagree. Oh, oh, it didn't benefit look, anyone yes, in look, the first place. Look, the point is this. It didn't even benefit anyone. Well, 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 if it was an only bold, um, contrary decision, yes, which was in keeping with the wishes of somebody else. Oh no, you see, the thing is this. The thing, yeah. the thing is this. I don't know. This, no, I, I get where you're coming from. Is it wrong? wrong. Yes. Let me hear from yeah, you. I get, I get where you're coming from. But you see, <laughs> I am of the opinion. Your best no, is interesting. The president, the president has the sole power to appoint. Until and unless we change that, that is what is going to be. No, but not just that. Yeah. It's not just the president. No, 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 let's not drag this. The I don't want to drag this. I don't want to drag this. this. No, no, we're not talking. Let me just make this point. This so is let's important. Let me just make this point. This so is make important. the point. It's just important that people understand that. We are not like Kenya where there's a board which actually examines all the potential candidates and then as long as we have this particular system, let's be let's be honest. Whoever the president would nominate, mm -hmm. definitely, in terms of policy, not in terms of a potential favorable decisions that the person mm -hmm. would be given, but in terms of administration, because sometimes people feel that the chief justice's role is only uh, 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 one of being a judge. Remember, he only has one vote when mm -hmm. it comes to uh, 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 cases. Uh, cases. cases. And there have been decisions, there have been times in this country where the chief justice has been in the minority. Yeah. It's been happening many, many times. The 31st December case, for example, mm -hmm. the then Chief Justice Acha was in the minority. So it is not, it is not for, it is, you don't take it for granted that simply because you yeah. nominated and uh, the person, he will be You'll in be your pocket. In your no. Pocket. no. Mm -hmm. But in terms, so of, soon... in terms of policy, mm -hmm. for example, maybe let's say opening up the law school, for example, or opening up legal education, you might need someone who is not steeped in the old conservative attitude that look let's keep the doors very narrow and let's keep let's keep us let's do, let's not allow too many people so in terms of policy you may need somebody who thinks like you mm -hmm. and i know the president for example is very concerned about the issue of legal education and access it's a very and in fact he gave directives mm -hmm. yeah, that sex. they should ensure that the concerns of the students were dealt with within a limited mm -hmm. time unfortunately there seems to be a certain philosophical debate over there. So that is why, for example, if I had the opportunity now to nominate a new chief justice, obviously I would nominate somebody who would be in line with my thinking when it came to certain policy issues in respect of administration of mm. justice. And not okay. necessarily in terms of whether the person will give me favorable judgment. Favorable judgment. judgment. Okay. You can't predict no, it. you can't influence okay. it. These, these, yeah, these judges are okay. very bold. <laughs> they don't take instructions. Point, point let's, so let me, let's end the conversation <laughs> on that one and move well, on. We won't uh, give Sydney... Uh, Sydney will get a chance. Don't Sydney worry. doesn't like lawyers. He's our oh, so, oh, he does. We, gentlemen, He's let's a move on. Assembly gentlemen, let's move on. He lost the election. So, yes, and I'm going to talk about this assembly election. He contested. No, he did not. Oh, I'm telling you, he contested. I contested. <laughs> I'm starting for. I'll start from Sydney on the one. We've already uh, had the voices of uh, the MPP and the NDC on that, but we had the district assembly uh, elections this week, um, characterized by apathy, low voter turnout. Uh, some of the political parties seem to have claimed a victory mm. for the low turnout. Some have not. <laughs> so they have put. Uh, they have adduced all kind of reasons to it, but. Uh, there are those who've also said that the removal of the referendum from the equation is what accounted for the kind of turnout um, that we had. And then after that, we can also link that to the EC asking for 400, Ghana, uh, 400 million Ghana cities for a new uh, voters register, saying that the current one that we have is not does not meet the standards, so they need a far more Facial credible one. The NDC, however, <laughs> says no. We just need to update it. We don't need a brand new one. Sydney, let me start from you with the Dutch Assembly elections. What you made of the low turnout in certain areas? People didn't even come out to vote in our yeah, win yeah, in a Kumfi in Numan, <laughs> where they said, "Look, we don't see the the, the, <laughs> the value of even voting in the first place," and they are saying they are not going to allow people in their communities to vote. They will not allow politicians to come and campaign. Yeah. And in certain areas, it was quite hectic. 
Well, uh, morning. Morning, um, Sydney. I'm tired, so I'm sorry about the late no appearance. Um, before we don't into the, let me let, let me segue a little into this. <laughs> you are just segue. You are gamain. Am I am I Yes, you are gamain. <laughs> um, I think the uh, the chief justice needs to do three things. Okay. Whatever <coughs> what, whatever he does. Um, number one, cases have to be dealt with faster than they are being dealt with now. Mm -hmm. That is so absolutely crucial. I'm I'm just I'm just tired of all the hanging cases that we have. They, we never seem to end the case. Boyome is still pending. I can go on on, on, so, many, on, on so many of them. <laughs> but we have, to have, we have to have some action mm -hmm. in that arena. In this uh, modern world now, where things can be done electronically, yeah. decisions can be made faster, there's absolutely no reason why people should be getting adjournments for two months, three months, you know, I, I just find it so unnecessary. So for me, that's a priority. He needs to fix that thing. Okay. That's number one. Number two, the law school issues. Hmm. Okay. I think it's, it's critical that we have a complete modernization and review of the way we approach yeah. legal education. I, I, I see no reason why there should even be a <laughs> philosophical debate, which uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Nipa was hinting at. There's no philosophical debate yeah. about this. You know, all over the world, there are examples of how law uh, education is being dealt with. And there are other professions who have shown the way. Mm. My profession as a chartered yeah. accountancy, we have, we've been doing this for oh, maybe a century or more. Yeah. yeah. And it's simple. There's a body that governs it. Anybody who wants to go, go and yeah. apply. You qualify. So, you go exam. and you take your exam. If you pass, <coughs> you pass. There's nothing else to it. But we seem to have this old-fashioned attitude mm. to getting some of these things done. Because if we allow the younger, more modern people to come in, they will hijack the whole system and, 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 and take the thing somewhere. <laughs> and he, if he can think about, about that, then he would have done us a very big service. Then lastly, they have to take off those ponko gown. That, that's, that, that thing that they wear. They are not complaining. You know, mm -hmm. which I don't understand. The fascination <laughs> of wearing that. that, you know, uh, uh, like the wig. Is it called a wig? Yes, yes. it's called a wig. The wig and the wig. Men who are wearing wigs, <coughs> wig, they will say we don't want homosexuality. Oh, Let, let's not go there. Is it not LinkedIn? No, no. Let's Men there. wearing wig like that. Let's go on. This is what the British people used to do. Oh. They used to have homosexuals in the courts. And then oh. they, so they wanted to wear wig <coughs> to demonstrate their homosexuality. No, that is not the foundation. Go and read, go and read the history. No, 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 for no, someone no, who is a stickler for educating people, let's not, you know, do revisionist history here. <laughs> yeah. education, let's education is also about thinking cleverly out of the box <laughs> and, and challenging people's minds. If what I'm saying is not true, they should go and read. Sydney, your three it's, points are made. It's let's in the, go on. It's in the Encyclopedia Britannica. Oh, no, no, no. Now, you see, if we, if we really want to forge ahead, create an identity for ourselves, do things the way we think they should be done, there's absolutely no reason to be sticking to such, you know, old-fashioned, archaic... The things, those wigs don't even look hygienic, mm -hmm. oh. you know? And we should be able to do this our way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. too long now, us inheriting mm -hmm. colonialist things, and we are still perpetuating them okay. but, for but, no benefit. But does it affect their delivery of judgment? Yeah. It may, may, judgment. Maybe it does. Yeah. How do you, you know see, it doesn't? You see, one because of the... It's, it's because when you see some of the... Con honestly, ah. I can't agree more with what Sydney said. When you see some of the conditions of the courts, <laughs> and you are supposed to wear a wig... And a gown. Hmm? I, yes, it's the solemnity but, but, and the. That's and it, the, the, also. You see, one of the reasons <coughs> is usually given is when you wear the wig properly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it conceals your ident for facial judges, identity. For the mm -hmm. judges. In a way, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, and that is very key. The, and you can't design you something are, with our own local material are, are to, to do the same thing. district court there is no, the, the air is not blowing, the, 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 the weather is hot, uh, you are in, I think that, you see, it's, it calls for some reforms. Mm. If you are in the air condition, that, that, that point has been made, gentlemen. I don't want us to, you know, rehash it. It's the point has been made. Sydney, move on. So those are my three things to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the new chief. They're fantastic. You should focus on those three things. 
and let's get let's get let's get the decisions ruling out so we are clear on where we are going and we get things done there's nothing wrong with somebody wanting to appeal a decision but when somebody appeals a, 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 a court judgment don't run, don't push the appeal back to three months from today you know deal with this she, 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 48 hours mm. 72 hours deal with it. let's judges. move on then you need more judges then have more judges yes. but of course you see in canada for example only about 10 percent of the cases on appeal yeah. see the light of the they have what they call master system yeah. so there's mm. a judge sitting in the room mm. take about 10 of the cases they will just write to the lawyers mm -hmm. your case a similar one had been heard the decision was this your case Cause struck out is done and, and yes you, but here all appeals are asked of right whether yes. he, he himself yeah, knows there are fundamental reasons why it's, look there some are people are just do it to delay gentlemen no, that but conversation, you know, that conversation that, is done no but you see there are some times when you see gentlemen, the, the issue of nee, appeals nee, are nee, important because look nee, there are times when nee, the high court makes a decision the court of appeal nee, offended, nee, and then the Supreme Court of the parliamentary gentlemen petitions lawyers the court of appeal is the final court lawyers lawyers we have moved on. We are talking the district assembly elections. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's not sweet. This assembly election is not interesting. Okay, I can go to this Franklin. one. This one is more yes. interesting. Uh, no, but, but he's a guy. I can go to he, Franklin. He's still lost. He's still lost. I would, let's, I would let's, assume that the mm. my friend take. Wait. <laughs> you see, when you come late, you, there are certain protocols yes. that, have, that, are, that are withdrawn. Yes. 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 Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the thing is this: you see, um, as for the district uh, uh, mm. elections thing, you know, we spoke about it. Mm. At length. Mm. In fact, we dealt with it quite a few times mm. before uh, Leonardo withdrew mm. the, uh, the referendum. And, and frankly, I'm still a bit peeved at my friend Yao Pong mm. for, for declaring openly that he was going to vote no. Oh. Uh, because yeah. lawyers, okay. be, because I, I I wasn't going to lawyers, okay. vote. Lawyers, lawyers, no. don't, don't be engaged. Yes. Not, that, not that I didn't want it, but I didn't want it to be political. But that it's was okay. what the whole thing was. That yeah, was what the whole didn't vote. Want it to be that was what the whole vote was <laughs> no, about. But the other one that was in parliament could have taken care of what I wanted. Mm. And I said, I'm disappointed that you didn't want to vote yes. I'm disappointed that you wanted to vote yes. So, yes. So, let's hear so, your <laughs> point. So, 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 let's hear you. so I'm disappointed in you. and You're disappointed in me <laughs> on this issue. But Nothing I won wrong at the end that. of the day because I said that. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't win. You lost because. But because, wrong. No, because democracy lost. No, no, All right, I democracy lost. It. But uh, our, our, our opportunity to be able to move our democracy forward to a next big step is completely lost. Now we don't even we are not even going to be able to elect our, 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 our MMDCs. Mm. We we don't even know when it will come back to parliament again. But I said they Whether, should present in the next election as their manifesto. If they can get, then I will consider it. If they can, if they can get a two thirds majority at some point in order to be able to change the entrenched clause, then they can do it. If not, then it's a waste of time. And that means that we are tied, we are tied to the aprons of our constitution, because the constitution on this particular issue and on other issues of uh, of, uh, of entrenched clauses will never, never work, because neither the NPP nor the NDC will give in and allow any of any of the other parties to carry on, and it's just vendetta, it's vendetta, it's bitterness, it's just so unnecessary. All right, it's totally unnecessary. We are, we are not cooperating when it comes to moving our democracy forward and being able to de develop as a, 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 as a country. This shouldn't have been something that po politics uh, and, and partisanship should have been introduced at all. You see, I, I think we had a, a discussion once on this issue, and I, and, and I said that the minute we, 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 we heard what the MPP wanted in the issue and the NDC wanted in the issue, the citizens of this country were deprived of their rights. Completely deprived of our rights. Because this was our vote. The referendum is the people's vote. Mm -hmm. It's not a political party vote. It's the people's vote. The people are going to express their opinion. Mm. And if you look at what happened with Brexit, that's exactly where, 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 where we could have gone. All right? Where one group is so entrenched and so adamant that they will deliberately disrupt the, uh, the, uh, the whole issue. But I wanted to go and express my opinion that I wanted or did not want a, a, a political party involvement in the election. It wasn't about whether we are voting or not. It's about whether or not we want this to be that way. Had we done this, had we done this and allowed uh, political parties to be engaged <laughs> at that level, 
we would have had true democracy. Because that is the level where you express your intention of which direction and which philosophy you would like your community to, to evolve. And we lost the opportunity. Okay? If they say they're going to bring it back in a year or two years, okay, fine. Next year, if the NPP doesn't win a significant majority in parliament again, it's not likely the NDC will win a significant majority in parliament. Okay? Which means that we are stuck. We are totally stuck. And as to whether we will get cooperation with you know, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the representatives of the MPP and the NDC, whether there will be enough camaraderie for them to be able to sit down together, Jojo, and say, we need to do this for the future of Ghana. And they can convince each other. Because the whole argument was totally confused. All right? All the introductions of the reasons why we, sh we should or should not do it were completely mixed with what is really good for the country. All right? What is really, really good for the country? Because for anybody to tell me that we are bringing in... Uh, 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 national political polemics into the district level just tells me that you are accepting that you have completely contaminated the national level and you are the very ones now who are saying you don't want it to happen you know at the at the district level then in this case we should scrap the national uh, 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 polemics and the discussions and the debate on 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 uh, political party lines and let the whole thing be open mm -hmm. see so i i find it completely disappointing that we didn't seize the opportunity and do what we think it should be to have true democracy <coughs> and decentralization at that level. Okay. But the question I wanted to, 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 to close on, what was the attendance level? I think I'm the no, not yet. Nobody knows. Not All we hear is that attendance was, was low. They said it was satisfactory. Who? And the what EC is, officially. What, what's satisfactory? What, what number the is that? Average might be 30 something percent. Yeah. 25, 25. They are yet to compute. They are waiting for new biometric systems to. <laughs> <laughs> See, and this is and, and, and this and, and this is the this is the, the, the this is the issue that we have. Just, 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 okay, just I mean the media have picked, the media understand. have picked up a sound bite that says attendance was low, it was poor, and we well, run. I, I don't think it's fair to say a sound bite. We we put <coughs> correspondence in basically every region in most <coughs> constituencies mm -hmm. there are places where you have 500 people on row and nobody voted people didn't even show up to vote from 7 a.m to 5 p.m nobody bothered to vote not one what happened so <laughs> what is the percentage turnout the per I, me as a journalist I think, I cannot give you a turnout, to, but yeah, i can give you what my reporters can came to tell me and from what my reporters came to tell me turnout was low low what figure is low? Was yeah, it five percent, two percent, fifteen percent? Well, you can what figure. Ask, but, ask actually, you, but if your people have been on the ground and they are seeing in some places five hundred out of ten thousand, and in some places twenty-seven out of ten thousand, you should be able to calculate but there's it. There's an organizer no. of elections, it, uh -huh. and they have to come out, come and, out and, and give an official exactly number. What the number really is. And Kodio too was there monitoring, and they too they don't have a figure. Well, Kodio is a, is a non-partisan entity. They are not paid to do that. They have to wait and verify figures. They don't at, want best, at best, the EC all, should do that. It is all just shoddy work. You see, it's shoddy. And this is why mm. we, 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 can't seem, we can't seem to gauge. If, if, if the president pulled out the referendum issue mm -hmm. on the grounds that he anticipated that the, uh, the turnout would be low, mm -hmm. all right? He no, he did. That was the why he pulled out. <coughs> why did he pull out? He pulled out because there, was there wasn't no international consensus. Fine. So if he had had national consensus, what would it have been? 50%, 60%, 70%? <coughs> 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 we don't know. And if the turnout now that came out was 10% or 15%, we don't know. Mm. So how do we guide ourselves for the future to make sure that as we go forward, whenever there's going to be an issue like that, even if there are pollsters involved, and they tried to gauge, where is Beneficent? He never pulled this thing. He never predicted anything. He never said anything. He too, I have to talk to him. <laughs> you see, because what, what, what we are doing is just intellectually lazy. And this is our problem. It's Money. just intellectual laziness. Money. Okay? We've been going, we've been going around, maybe it's a separate, maybe we're going, oh. not going to discuss this. But I, but I want to say this in context of all of this. We've been going around on a platform that we, we both belong to, frankly, myself and a few, and a few others. And we are asking the question, 
year of return. How many people billion. really came? All right? Has Ministry of Tourism is saying one million plus. Okay? And we're asking, how does that figure come up? Okay? Yeah, we're saying, they're saying that people have we have, we, we, we have injected 1.9 billion into the, <coughs> into the economy. Where, where is the analysis? Where is the detail that enables us to say very, very clearly that this is how it happened? How many hotels have actually been booked? People are, are telling me and I hear that we have had nearly 100% occupancy in hotels ar ar around mm -hmm. the country. I'm hearing you cannot get, you could not get a, a room booked in, in, in the Cape Coast area since February, March, mm -hmm. as far back as then. All right? And there are so many things being spread about. Everybody's opinionating. And nobody's giving us real data and real facts. If no, but Sydney, I also think that is a bit unfair on your side. Because, for instance, if you look at what the TTAC will come up with. Mm -hmm. Even their data comes, and that's the recognized international body for travel and tourism. Uh -huh. Even their data will come up in April. Yes. Because you have to mm -hmm. source the data from somewhere across. You will uh -huh. not get this data in real time. I'm not interested in TT data. I want Ghana data. No, but where I is the Ghana data going to come from? Do I call we uh, have, Golden Tulip and say, how many people do you have there? That is what the Tourist Board or the Ministry of Tourism is there for. That is why they are being paid. Uh, but they okay. have given the figure. But they have No, he's saying that he doesn't trust the figures. How no, does he no, no. verify the figures? But they, they can't tell you that how they 10 get, people from the U.S. No, I'm saying there's a way of doing this. If I want to know the number of... If I want to know the number of... Hold on. Uh, I'm saying if I want to know the number of flights coming into Ghana, mm. there's a website I can go to that will give me a real-time data of the number of flights that are yeah. flying into Ghana yes. per minute. Yes. In, in real time. Yeah. You understand? Yes. But that... What he's saying is, can you have that on maybe the Ghana... Tourism Authority site where we can see in real time the number of people who are entering the country. That give, you, you need access to that's immigration. What I, that's yeah. not what I'm saying. You need saying. access to all kinds of data. Is, is it impossible? They are, they are right also. <laughs> it's not impossible. That, that, that is not no, what I'm saying. That is not data that, that, that is even made public. Not, normally. That is not no. what I'm saying. But it is, what do you mean so, it's not supposed to be public information? It's public information. No, I'm saying it, was, it is made public by the authority. It's not something that you can just go on any regular website. I can't go on the U.S. Homes, Homeland Security and exactly. know the number of people entering the U.S. today. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. Look, unless that's, they tell you. Mm -hmm. That's Homeland Security matter. But the debate different. has come up because okay. there's been official... There's been official figures that figures. have been put out. Which is what I'm... The point I'm also making to Sydney that... But if there's official Somebody figure, definitely has to give you an official case, figure. Let's not lose Sydney's main point about the quality of data. Of data. That's I true. That's that is important. That is important. Right. Nobody's losing sight of that. And, 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 we should, <laughs> and, and we should work harder at getting that kind of data out. Mm -hmm. You see... We are taking the easy route out. Right now, officially, government has said a million, at, a, a million people. Right? That somebody has disagreed with. Yes. Not only him. What some of us have disagreed with, with the 1.5 million. No, no, even on come. the numbers. But you see, he has basis to disagree based on what? Official data from last year. Mm. And then you make so projections. You need a, you need, yes, you need how a basis. He, how then does you can he, do common how, sense how analysis. Does he, how does he accept that last year's figures are right or wrong? Then we will not believe any sort of data then. No, be no, but he does it and he says that there's a projection, even if you allow... No, I'm saying Sydney, Sydney, Sydney is trying to say, how do we believe data? That is a very cynical approach. <laughs> anyway. Yes, and you have to be cynical in order to get the right numbers. <laughs> if, if, somebody, if somebody broke down those figures and said, out of the 750,000 people who, are, who came through Ghana, mm -hmm. all right, and we, have, and, 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 and we, we know the 750,000, uh, they came through Terminal 3, Terminal 2, they came through land borders, they came through uh, uh, ocean vessels and stuff like that. And the origin, the origin of all of these peoples, the U.S., the U.K., Belgium, uh, uh, China, we have those. Look, if you have those figures, mm -hmm. all right, and you can then calculate it and come out. There are some things that you cannot arrive at accurately. There's an estimated $2,500 per person, all right, mm -hmm. spent as they, as they come in. Yeah, same. If you take the $2,500 and you see a million people came in, you've got 2.5 billion with, 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 without even blinking an eye. And that is possible. So where, where you... Where you are conjecturing is on the spend, because that you cannot tell. But you can get an idea of the spend if you have a very, very good database of how many hotels, all right, were 
on board, how many of them were filled up, what the occupancy rates are. Don't forget that the Hotel and Tourism Board is supposed to be, to be recording uh, 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 hotel occupancy every month. Mm -hmm. Every month, all those hotels are supposed to send their data in. And mm -hmm. you can categorize them, you can grade them into, uh, 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 what do you call them? Um, uh, first, oh. second, third, fourth. The star <coughs> system. That star they system that they use. So you can have that figure. And then if you want to know how many people are really showing up in this country and where they are going, go to Cape Coast. <coughs> you have an attendance <coughs> record there. Go to Elmina. Even go to the Kakun. castles. Go to Kakum. You can tell. Because the number of people who come into this country will go there. At least 80 to 90% of foreigners will always go and see those major tourist centers. If you use an 80-20 Pareto uh, formula and say, okay, of all the people who go there, 20% of all these hotels that we have, 80% of the people will attend. You've got a figure. At least you have a basis. You have a basis on which you can, you can, you can now look at a platform of refining that information so it gets more and more and more and more accurate if okay. you look at the visa allocations from all the embassies that we have and lord knows we have enough embassies across the, across the world and you ask them to supply information which they do all the time <laughs> anyway, all you need it, is to ask them to, to it, it's report a big switch from the, this is just a bit to hear but <laughs> well no but it, it's but 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 it's part of the know, frustrations it, of losing the it's, election it's, yeah. Oh. It's, it, it goes down, it's go, it, you see, it goes down to the core of the issue. See, it goes down to the core of the issue. We okay. are too intellectually lazy and too, too quickly to do. Look, if uh, 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 Martin Kwebu, mm. in this case that he won, he's been sitting there for two years old. Mm. It's not like as if he just recently won it. Oh, of yes. course. Yeah. Yeah. It's, been, it's been going there. Three years. Is it since 2016? Yes. Mm. Eh? Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's two, three years. <laughs> really? Okay. And we now finally a have point. a decision mm. after three Why? years. Why? The judges are now okay. available. Had he not persevered, had he not focused, and had he not pushed it, you would never get that decision that uh, has been made now. Because it was there before this chief justice was appointed, and it wasn't decided on. And it's not only that. We have several things like that that we need to fix. We are talking about the assets declaration thing. We as Occupy Ghana, we have written to the, uh, to the Attorney General, okay, and we have written to the, to the Auditor General as well. There's a conflict in what Parliament, Parliament can extend and what the law allows it to extend. And we want it clarified. And if, we don't, if you don't persist and get it done, you'll find there are 44,000 uh, uh, civil servants who should have filed their, their uh, assets. Uh, assets declaration reports by now. They haven't done so. All right? They haven't done so. And the law is such that the Auditor General cannot go in and just randomly pick any and just use. He has to have a case before he can go in there. If you go into his, uh, the, uh, the, audit, the audit services, you will see the envelope stacked up. Going back from 1992, when the law was made, nobody opens them because <laughs> no, 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 nobody allows them to open them. And we're saying that law has to be modified. Mm -hmm. But you see... It is only these little things about our civil liberties that you have the, the, uh, the, the Occupy Ghana's and the Martin Pribus and the, uh, what's your, your, your people's thing? Citizen Ghana? Uh, CGM. CGM. Your people. Citizen Ghana movement. <laughs> where, where you go and you say, we expect the, uh, uh, the what do you call them? The, uh, the political parties to have filed their financial statements and reported on their, on, on their assets. If, you don't, if we don't keep pushing those kind of liberty, liberties to be released, if we don't keep pressing those, those buttons, we will never, never get anywhere. And my two learned friends here, they know a lot of the issues that have to be addressed. Okay. But Point they are made. not doing it. But what are we doing here? Right. Yes, there's Point only one thing we are doing here. Go to court. Sydney, Sydney, <laughs> Sydney, Sydney has found <laughs> his own <laughs> way of discussing every issue he missed. But it's fine. I'm not going to. As for the district. Some of the privileges you get for being late. <laughs> but uh, look, let me just Quickly, say Quickly, oh yeah, oh, so that we can talk about this new voters register. First oh, of all, the, the authority, the, the institution that is supposed to give us figures, and I suspect mm. even in real time, the EC. what's the basis of having a biometric register anyway? Mm. Is that in real time, these things are connected. This so within 48 hours, and I'm giving them 48, <laughs> 48 hours, <laughs> rule, they should be able to tell us 
and organize a press conference really to say that, look, based on these numbers and based on the voter register, the numbers on the roll, this is the this is the, the yeah. This is, and it's easy. Rather than fixated on this, we'll be coming there very shortly. But why give the them way. 48 hours? Okay. It should be it should be instant, really. Yeah. I mean, the time, by the time hours, the poll closes. Yeah. By the time the poll closes it. and you the declare the results. Should have been in. Yeah, except, you have the regional breakdown. For places because that's how, yeah. you, are, that's how you, 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 you do the well, whole uh, And even then, the assumption, so you know. the assumption is that there could be a lot of manual voting, which is rare, really. In mm -hmm. some instances, I had some of the media, uh, the, the newsroom, which essentially was suggesting that there are some places where people voted manually, but not significant mm -hmm. enough. But what Sydney is saying is important. So you have a regional breakdown, which I suspect they already have. Yes. Yeah. And but that's, that's, how that's the, the duty. But that's how they designed the, yeah, the, the voter cards. So the duty of, a, of, of an electoral commission is to be able to call some sort of a press conference, especially because this matter is coming on the back of a very acrimonious discussion about whether district level elections should be partisan or not, and set the record straight. That's Sydney's point about the data and what we make use of. I mean, mm. how, what, what use we make of the data. It's crucial because then it sends signals to whoever is in power or whoever is interested in uh, making pu sound public policy that, look, this is the reason why come 2020, when the NDC or the MPP is designing or fashioning out their manifestos, they will think that, well, maybe we should tweak it a little bit. And it could also send signals, especially now that we are talking with our numbers. But of course, it's, it's clear that the voter turnout wasn't particularly stellar, given the various news uh, items that we had. Then we'll send signals to the political class and say, oh, maybe CDD's Afrobarometer mm -hmm. survey was actually right, right. Mm -hmm. to predict that the there are reasons why people are being apathetic and not necessarily because they dis there's so much disdain for political party activity mm -hmm. at the local yeah. level, but it's actually because they feel that, well, they've been taken for granted for far too for long. Too long. Oh, yeah, there's a gentleman called Kofi Corantin whose uh, mm -hmm. uh, mantra is he won't stand as an independent. His mantra is that you should fire in this EMPP. Now, you hear these kinds of sentiments, and it's feeding off the larger, you know, um, disdain for the political. Uh, uh, class. So for me, it was very important for us to hear from the EC. And when did the elections, where were the elections? How many days now? It's almost five days now. Almost five days. You hear nothing. Hmm. And it's, uh, it's amazing. And I think the only test statement you hear is that they, is you said they were satisfactory. Hmm. But I'm a journalist but, asked. Yeah, but that's the point. So it's based out of hot air, no spin, and there's no serious data anal analysis to it. And I'm saying that the EC has got to be much more uh, 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 serious with, with, with this, 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 this thing. And they should seize the moment. You see, this is where your leadership matters. Especially when, as I said, it's coming on the back of a very acrimonious discussion about representation at the local level. Mm -hmm. Seize the moment. And you should be seen to be commanding the heights of, you know, uh, political party uh, activism in the country. You, you, within two, three days, you should be having a statement that, look, this is what we saw. Rather than get involved in side issues where they need how much? 400 million for <laughs> facial recognition. Uh, yeah. Software. Since, since, software. Since, 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 you've since you've already gone. Since you've already gone. Go there. We, before we go yeah, there. That, before no, let him go there. We don't have time. We have just five minutes. Let me just cap this. Let, please, we I, beg you, I beg you. Let me cap this. The results, all right, are captured either in a database mm -hmm. or are captured in a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right? One thing or the other. And they've been transmitted already, by the way, even if they are captured. It, and they've been transmitted. So without these that, tools. Th that data is already there. And all you have to do if it's in a database. is compute it. Add it. You don't yeah. even compute. We, you said computer. Now it's a BB mm. Addition. Mm. <laughs> all right? 500 plus 27 plus 424 plus. Yeah. You just add it. A spreadsheet will do that for you Easily. in the blink of an eye. So also will the database. And then the analysis is there. Because when you capture the information, you're capturing it by region or by district or by community or whatever. Yes, it, it's already there. So you're saying so like, we, 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 are, so we are not seeing the are level sure of that they've not, they've not done it, but nobody has asked? 
Ah, you don't well, need, you don't need to ask. It's being asked. You don't need to ask. They have to. They, they have to. No, they put they it, they are working. They on have it. to put it on their website. By mm. the time we finish the voting and everything, and they announce the results, yeah, it should be on the website, so that those of us who are very, very finicky and, and curious, we go there and we look at it. All right, and, and then, then it's done. And and if if you then have to do a separate publication and release that in some kind of report, then you do so. But I cannot understand. Maybe they'll do a comprehensive See, press conference. Maybe. Whatever press conference you want to do, you can organize it within hours. Exactly. It, it, it doesn't need seven, eight days. The, the, right. the, yeah, basically, what no, saying, but the point is that the, the tech output point, is not meeting the nothing. money we are putting in You see, in the there. point <laughs> is that this not this you have a, a framework, so you just slot in the numbers, and it should give you. You are not going to do content analysis of why people voted A or B. You don't care which, about which that. is a That's very difficult one. That's not your job. Your job is to collate numbers, and do that. Luckily, you have a system that is able to that is interlinked, and is able to tell you in real time what you should do. See, this point is, have a number of people set who are obviously paid to do that. Collect all of this data. Because all of these data already sits on your systems. Mm -hmm. At the click of a button, if it's an Excel sheet, you should be able to tabulate all of that. Even if you think that you want to get it aggregated for each whatever district, it is easy. Unless, of course, that system doesn't exist, for which they need additional 400 million to include facial recognition. <laughs> I don't, want I don't to know, think that it is important. I don't want to know important. how many people look like each other and whether the, all these look alike voting in one direction. I even hear that it's even difficult for blacks. Usually when you are doing <laughs> facial <laughs> recognition. Okay, we'll, come, we'll, come, we'll, come, we'll, come, we'll come to the matter of, we'll come to the matter of the new voters register. I'll start with Nipakbo and that one. Yes. Uh, um, since his party is making the most noise. The big issue, we'll be right back. So you are welcome back to the big issue discussing the... EC's request for 400 million plus Ghana CDs for a new voters register and also the issues assembly elections. You've heard from Sydney, a bit from Franklin. I'll come back to Franklin on this. Let's hear from you, Ni, nee, on mm. the voters, the matter of the voters register, because your party, the NDC, is adamant that this is not necessary, that what we have is satisfactory. You just need to upgrade it and we can move on from there. Why don't you want a new voters register? The EC manage the system and they say it's not good enough as it is but are you are you swerving me to suggest that i've spoken about the 400 million thing because i haven't said a word neither has franklin let's leave on the ec <laughs> has not to my mind stated, unless i'm mistaken yeah maybe you can help me stated that the voters register as it is is useless what they've said is that they want to improve mm -hmm. And what we have said is that give us cogent reasons why you should tamper with it now or touch it now, especially when we have an upcoming election. You feel the reasons they've given are not cogent? We have not, yes. Uh, the, 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 we've asked for certain reports from what I understand from the parties, IT, directorates, including the national chairman and those who have been attending the IPAC meetings. They've asked for some specific reports which have not been given. And so and so they are not satisfied that the there is enough justification to change the voters register as it is. And the last elections at the district assembly, even for us makes the point even stronger. Could you clearly said all the verification machines worked perfectly. There was no issue about uh, machines being outmoded to the point where they were not functional. They have, the EC has said that they want to enhance the security features and improve whatever technology this has. But technology is technology, obviously. You would want to always have the opportunity to improve mm -hmm. whatever that you have. However, you see, because of the dicey nature of elections, how crucial they are, you need a certain consensus when you want to do certain things, as fundamental as the change of a voter's register. You can decide that, or you can see that, well, you are the electoral commission, you have the powers of being independent. 
you are entitled to run the election the way you deem fit. However, you are running it in partnership with the electoral parties. You can't run an election, a national election in this country, without the participation of the NDC and the NPP. Especially, we are the biggest uh, participants in any election. And so, you cannot just ignore our views and say that, well, to hell with you, and that we are going... And luckily, they have not said that. They have not said that to hell with the NDC's position. So, there is still room for consultation. Our position is that, as it is now, especially with 12 months to go for national... Because remember, when you want to compile a new register, mm -hmm. you compile it, you have to exhibit it, you have to... Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a detailed process. One, 12 months is too short a time, mm. in our opinion, to attempt such an exercise. 12 months based on what? 12 months based on the fact that you are now going to... First, you are going to collate the information. You have to open. You have to set the dates for the uh, for persons to now come and what take the information of mm -hmm. of all the eligible voters because you are replacing the register. Mm -hmm. It takes time. <laughs> you now but have they feel to, they can do it. Well, the thing is, it's not about your feeling. It's about the fact that if you have made a proposal, you understand, you must be able to justify it to the parties involved that. We need this at this time. One well, party is convinced. Well, they, 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 you, I heard uh, Yao in Aditya. He gave a very long preamble. He's he, here. Yes, he, he was. He was. He, was he, he made it very clear that if they are, if if it is, in fact, if if it is justified, if it if it is needed, if he made a, a series of very, he, very, he, very he, yes, he, he wasn't as if he just said, let's. Because he recognizes the fact that it is not, it is, it is not just, it is not just a mere exercise. That's the thing. It's a fundamental issue, and so you have to, you have to have a certain consensus. I repeat the word, a certain consensus moving forward. Because you need the participation. If the parties say that they they really are not going to play ball in respect of this, you will find it difficult. And you see, the elections, the the, the upcoming elections. Ah, crucial. You are dealing with all oh, every elections. Excuse me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Every election is on fire. Let me. Let me. Let me make my oh, point. Let him go. We have had situations when, when we were in government, mm -hmm. the opposition had made it clear that the election was Afga If the elections, they don't win the elections. There's going to be Afghanistan. Oh, so oh, it is not as if. It is not as if. So this why it is be, not. Oh no 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 no! I'm saying no. He's he's making a point that every election is crucial. I'm telling him that it is not because we are saying the election is crucial. Presidential and parliamentary elections in other countries in this sub region have led to situations which we do not like and which have had if if care is not taken. So don't it pretend that's a commentary like the yeah, one that you're pretend, making, don't which is what makes if, the whole thing don't catastrophic. Pretend, don't pretend that. Yes, it's because if the process you're always beating war drums. If the process is not fair, if the process if the process is not fair, and if parties what is unfair and about parties, this? if parties don't believe that the process is fair, what is then un, what is unfair they will look about this? Alternative the ways the of expressing their opinion. The NDC has given notice that. In its opinion, uh -huh. it is not time at this stage of where we are in the electoral calendar to change the uh, voters' register. And they have said, notice that we are going to use every lawful means to resist something like this. We've said, notice. We are not convinced. So it is up to the Electoral Commission to convince our leadership and rank and file that it is appropriate to change the register at this time. The reasons they have given, in our opinion, are not adequate. And so we've reiterated our point. We are the biggest opposition party in this country, and our views cannot be taken for granted. Oh, I mean, as they say, Jamin is here. And so, just as, just as, just as some people, some, some parties, we said, will never come to power and have virtually come to power. It is also very possible that just as some persons will have one term, 
It's, it's also possible that uh, life okay. that's how you put it. Let, me, let me, short to be president. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me go to <laughs> the MPPs. Minutes, no, I'll, let, I'll come to you okay. since okay. he the, hasn't the, been the, I just wanted to touch on the and the cost, but we'll come to the cost of it. Well, your party's general secretary says it's a waste. Yes, and honestly, if it is, from what we are hearing, if it is, it is facial, if the issue is about enhancing facial recognition or adding facial recognition to the to the issue of security, other security features on the on the uh, card, so that mm -hmm. beyond the uh, verification by uh, biometric, uh, now you add facial recognition. Somebody said they must as well go. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Electronic voting. Electronic voting. I am of the personal opinion, and I read the I I had to read over the decision of the Supreme Court. We should have one identity card for our elections. I think that if we do the uh, what do you call it, the national identification card properly, and we'll get there. I think eventually we should be able to have just one card that should be able to serve all our purposes. When I'm, you were in power, we said and, you and said you know, no, yeah, and you know, okay. and I'm happy that I'm happy that the NHIE, for example, is moving towards that direction. We've heard yes, that they're yeah, trying that, to that is sync what, if, from next year with the Ghana card. If it is done well, and if all all the data is captured well, then maybe we would have the opportunity to have just one card to be able to deal with all issues relating to voting, identity. Because the issue, see, the, the issue for all parties no, is... A minute. Yes, the issue for all parties is the ability to be able to have an identification that goes to your nationality, the fact that you are Ghanaian and therefore you qualify to vote. Once that that qualification, that basic criteria for being a voter is met mm -hmm. and you are able to exercise the franchise once so that you don't have an opportunity to vote more than once, I think everybody will be happy. All right. Point well made. Let me go to the MPP's Director of Communication. Yeah, we'll be there somewhere. So, Honorable, who is also a member of Parliament for... I like that. That's, 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 that is a, a constituent like of the Ossetian. I want to hear it again. Lawyer, yes, he had a yeah, great point preamble. He seems I want very to hear it happy again. with you these days. He says you are fixing roads and things over there. Even though it's not you, but it's happening. But it's one of my favorite things. But, but if, if, if the roads are not being fixed, obviously it's not me. But if they are being fixed, let me take a <laughs> credit. But his, his race will be interesting. Yeah, but let's see though, why <laughs> is the MP, the NDC says they are not convinced by the reasons the EC is given. Why is the MPP convinced? Okay, let me... And since you are the government willing to give them the money, 400 million plus. Let me, first of all, mm -hmm. apologize sincerely to mm -hmm. your panel and uh, our viewers in Ghana. Um, and abroad, I assume mm -hmm. that we are on the internet. Yes. For, yes. Uh, we had a very unfortunate mix-up this morning that I would rather not yeah, yeah, yeah. explain on Fine. air. But I'm here. Mm -hmm. So I hope you forgive him. Oh, of course. Excellent. Oh, why? If I am here at the right you. time. It's not you. He said his fellow panelists. Yes. You are not part of it. <laughs> so wait, let's hear this. <laughs> Let us hear his he case before we agree or not. Both viewers. We will make the case after. But what about the conversation? We want, we want after. We want to know the reasons. Yeah, conversation we want after. to know the reasons. Both roads. Come roots. to my rally. Both roads. Both roads. Both roads. Look, Both roads. Come to my rally tomorrow. Okay. I'll give you the conversation <laughs> and the reasons. This <laughs> one. Why is the MPP convinced? You see, we must begin from a bit of backgrounding. Assuming we have a dynamic register in this country, where all 18-year-olds go on automatically. And uh, people who leave us for the other drop off automatically. Would we have a situation like this? Because mm -hmm. what we have now, basically, is a question of trust. Yeah. It's the bottom line is trust. trust. The Electoral mm -hmm. Commission is an independent body, constitutionally mandated. And somebody has to take a decision. You asked a very interesting question. If NDC disagrees, MPP agrees, and we all stand where we are, who takes the final decision? It has to be the Electoral Commission. So that mandate, however, has been moderated by IPAC and the consultations and all, because it's only reasonable. And we, MPP, have fought consistently mm -hmm. for that. 
Now, where we stand, we fought consistently for a clean album, an album that responds to the needs of the people. 56% of Ghana on a literal album, that level, and don't forget, uh, uh, former Commissioner Charlotte Ose held a forum where she said she knew over 600,000 people on the album were. It's funny, you understand? So, there are issues with the album. That it has been able with the equipment, the album is not just the paper, but the machines, the mm -hmm. servers, yes. that it has been able to conduct the district level election and a referendum doesn't mean it can deal with the numbers, the reach, and the logistics required for a presidential and parliamentary election. The numbers are vastly different. <coughs> vastly different. Mm -hmm. And the stakes, as Nis said, are so high. Why? Because we have an electoral system that excludes everybody except the winner. So either you win or you win. <laughs> there is no other option. Yeah, you no must mind. win. If you are in charge, you must stay in charge. If you are out, you must get in at all costs. Because <coughs> of the structure we've put ourselves in with our constitution. So that is the reason why the trust issues are very high. But coming straight down to mine, and hopefully the party's view of this, mm -hmm. we've always been for a solid brand new album in principle. Always. To, Yes. Oh, but we were the ones agitating for. That's yeah. why Charlotte said held that forum and all that. And you remember, somebody even went to court at that time to clean the those who had <coughs> their <coughs> names of NHIA yeah. and, and all that. And, and we found how many? Fifty-seven thousand. Like Did they even find them? <laughs> they told us they found fifty-seven thousand. Yeah. But mm -hmm. on the whole, if the commissioner himself admitted that they were over six hundred thousand, and you clean fifty-seven thousand, you are nowhere. So, so we have, in principle, always wanted a new one. Now we have a new issue which says. I want to develop a new register. So we are looking at three issues because the consensual process. Mm -hmm. The NDC must be reasonably <coughs> convinced if they are not, a decision still will have to be taken and that decider is the EC. So first, the utility issue. Whether or not that register can deal with the upcoming election, the numbers, the logistics, the reach, the EC says no. It's already overstretched as it is. That's what the EC is saying. So if we accept their word for it, they are in charge of the equipment, they are in charge of the machines, if we accept their word for it, and they cannot repair, and it will not serve the purpose if it's repaired, they have to have a brand new one. Then two matters come up. You deal with the utility. They are the institution. They say no. Mm -hmm. Resources and time. Those were the conditions I gave me. The utility of what they have now, and then resources and time. When it comes to resources, it is for them to budget for the government, for parliament Parliament's to pass um, and executive government to find the money. Interestingly enough, the public debate is restricted to the 400 million for mm -hmm. the register. Right, yeah. But they actually have nearly 300 million for the election itself as part mm -hmm. of the budget and several other expenses. They requested 1.9 billion. Mm -hmm. And government has approved or the finance ministry gave them a ceiling of 1 billion and a little over 60 million including the register and, and everything. everything, and their salaries, the operational expenses as well. So it may not necessarily be a matter of resource. Last year, that is this year, mm. 2019, they underspent what they were giving. They didn't spend all the money government released for them. So it is not as if the government is broke and that the government cannot fund the election. The EC's budget requests were met within the ceiling provided for 2019, but not all the money was utilized by the institution. So when you come to that, then you say value judgment about that amount of money. But tell me, cost-benefit analysis, what is the cost of political stability and peace? It's priceless. It's priceless. So to the extent that you argue that doing it may result in chaos, not doing it could also result in chaos. <laughs> because if the machine is flawed, listen to what the EC says. The commissioner stated, I'm just quoting one paragraph from the report that's before Parliament. The commissioner stated, I cannot afford to go into the... Twin oh, the commission stated, I shouldn't restrict it to mm -hmm. the commissioner. The commission stated that it cannot afford to go into the 2020 election with a wobbly electronic data system, given the history of the strong evolution of the commission and the need to conduct a peaceful election and uphold the integrity of the commission. 
literally every four years, the fate of this country is in the hands of the commission. They become our president. Mm -hmm. At some point, they become our president. And that responsibility is what they are saying can be effectively discharged at this time only if they are confident in the equipment and machines and register, whatever that they have. So wobbly, we want it out, we want a new one. So if it comes to resource, and it is the interest of this nation to provide money to build a register, to say, to say that we need to construct one more road so we cannot construct a new register is to say that the road when we are in conflict, we we'll resolve the conflict. There's a certain fundamental value judgment about the cost of peace, about the benefits of ensuring clarity in everybody's minds that we are where we are and we are comfortable. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So I, I see the figures to the extent that the executive government has demonstrated that it is capable of paying and it did this 2019, and the monies were not taken up. And it has demonstrated that it is willing to budget and pay for what is on the table now, including the changes in the election itself. Then I believe the cost-benefit analysis ought to fall on the side of investing in stability and peace. Okay. That is my feeling on the resource side. I think it's very, very important. It's a value judgment. We can decide that it's X a number of roads. But those X number of roads have to be built in a peaceful environment. Then we come to the time element. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where I, I <laughs> you see, I asked the rhetorical question that they should guarantee and tell us the time frame within which they are in a position to deliver this to everybody's comfort. Given that we are entering election year and given that there's also a national census yeah. on hand. Yeah. In March, yeah. that's 31st March, yeah. on the 31st night, we are going to be counted. And within the Constitution, there's a certain linkage between the EC's uh, duties as to demarcation and redemarcation mm -hmm. of constituencies mm -hmm. and the census. Yeah. There are constituencies under the rules. Technically, sometimes even some constituencies ought to be collapsed, collapsed. Mm -hmm. because of population shifts, shifts and changes. Mm -hmm. It never happens that way, because if you go and collapse, somebody's going to say, we expand. expand. Uh -huh. so, so that <coughs> question of, of the impact or import of the census figures as against the EC starting its register, then meant that was the EC going to start ahead of the census or after the census or taking into account the census figures or otherwise. But the exercise itself, the EC's exercise itself, doesn't take more than eight weeks. The actual exercise, mm -hmm. but the in between is what takes long. Because within 10 days, if they have a machine at every polling station, they can do all the registration. Within 10 days. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. They give you 10 days. And then maybe uh, the first two, three days, we are all waiting lazily at home. And then on the seventh day, we all rush there. Rush and then by the tenth day, we are, the ninth day, we are asking for an extension. That's what we do normally. So assuming, <laughs> without admitting that I'm developing a timetable for them, they can write all the names within 12 days. 15 days. We vote, we vote on one day. Mm -hmm. So on that one day, you capture everybody. everybody. So theoretically, if you say we're opening the register for two days, you'll be able to capture the everybody. Pro the problems that arise there is sometimes the number of machines that you may have at each police mm -hmm. station. For example, yeah, but, but, because of the population, because if you want to do, if you really want to capture the sizes and capture almost everybody and do it well, probably sometimes you need two to three, maybe, uh, pulling uh, stages. That is, that is why they normally zone. Uh -huh. And they move it over 10 days. Yes. Because they zone and stabilize a zone. zone. Then they move to move. another zone. Yeah. Move. So, so, over right. 10 so days, it takes some time. time. So, give or take, so give or take eight weeks. It's done. Because in between, but you also need, need to, to do, do you need to come, now have hmm? to Guess collate. It. You need to compile the data. Yes. Mm -hmm. And send out a provisional register mm -hmm. where inspection. people then go and verify. and verify so inspection is about another week yes six days yes. yeah so the actions themselves writing the names compiling mm -hmm. and the inspection maybe within the eight weeks but there's a gap in between yes. where they have to go and come back and let people see it and all that two months so if they another can, eight weeks two months so if they can convince us that within the matrix of this year they are in a position 
to deliver an album, a register to us satisfactorily that we all go back and inspect and agree that our names are in there mm -hmm. and that we are going to be voting in 2020. I don't think it should be a problem simply generalizing mm -hmm. that we are entering election year so we can't have a new register. I've heard risk, oh, there will be instability. Where is the source of the instability? The instability comes from the political parties. Mm -hmm. And now, fortunately, we have a law. So if you come and misbehave, <laughs> the law will deal with you. But it also comes from trying to bloat the register mm -hmm. with the minors, minors and, and ineligible people because you feel that it's an advantage to you. So if we would trust our system, mm -hmm. if we would trust our Ghanaianness and determine that we are not going to misbehave, we are all going to wait in line and comfortably and peaceably give our details and walk away. Knowing that I'm Ghanaian, my grandfather was Ghanaian, my great great grandfather was Ghanaian, and I don't bring my uh, eight year old who looks -old taller to... than me and then uh, insist that she or he is 18. And then there's confusion because when the child was being given birth to, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> we live in a compound house where my well, landlord is there. NPC, and uh, I am MPP. And the child was born in my presence. And then my landlord has brought the child <laughs> to, to, come and, to come and register was there, right in front of was me. There a child that birth. is a recipe for <laughs> uh, uh, confusion. We will fight. So those are the issues, the trust question, and the longer term question about how we manage the political system to be more inclusive. This exclusive system will never wish trust issues away okay. because the stakes are too high. Right. You are out of government and you are out once. You are, nowhere in this system do you input into any decisions. Yes, you are in parliament, but you are still a minority. You can, as the, the famous saying is, minority, will have, say. majority majority will, have will have its say and the majority will have its way. Well, all the majority have to do is vote. But the minority has to make analysis in order to prove how sensible their position is in order to sway everybody's thinking. The point I'm making is that as a developing democracy, we cannot afford to Seriously. keep endangering our stability with this distrust. As Kisley was just saying, the two of us can sit here and beat war drums. And I'm telling you, by the time we get out here, and a decision that hasn't even been taken would result in conflagration in the streets. Yes, yeah. because they are talking about this. No, 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 we will agree. It will be unstable. We can't live in this country. The other countries are burning. Other countries are burning. For what? <laughs> other countries are burning because they built an electoral register. Other countries are burning because modern technology is being infused into the way we vote. And the EC is even saying that the kind of material they want to procure is such that the registration will be so fast. It's modern, it's quick, visa systems, everything. Now they even have to do partial manual because all their visa systems and things are obsolete and, and not helping them. So, so let us begin to accept that we're Ghanaian. Let us begin to accept that as Ghanaians, we all have a positive stake in the governance of this country. Let's, let's begin to accept that we have institutions, that those institutions hold the line for all of us. Okay. And let us begin to accept that those institutions have a right and mandate to take decisions. Well, that's what we have constructed and given them. All right. And that if they consult, we are within our limits to disagree, but we must accept the ultimate decision. We cannot sit in public and have a press conference and tell the people of Ghana that we will not agree and it's final. What is our mandate? <laughs> What is the mandate of NDC in having a press conference and telling the world that if it is not done their way, they won't agree and it is final? I mean, you won't agree. What are you going to do? Are you going to take over the functions of the Electoral Commission? Are you going to develop a, a new Electoral Register for us or not? I, what are you going to do? Are you going to fight? Don't forget, can I ask a question? Don't forget, can I ask a question? Don't forget, they have a quick hold on. Don't forget, they have a PhD. They have a PhD in who making you. He raised his hands. So they do. There's a question. There's a question. Is that the point of order? We don't do point of order here. You sit down. When we see appeared before Parliament with this statement, did you ask for some live audits to be, I mean, some sort of, uh, should I call it? Uh, justification of the numbers? Not just justification, your justification, some sort of auditing to be done. Because what by I'm who? hearing by is who? that 
Well, you need to demonstrate what, how you yeah. think that the machines are so faulty yeah, that yeah. they can't cover, cover an election. Reason. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, the, otherwise <laughs> the argument would be that, well, um, because we invest so much in our peace, therefore we should continue the way things should necessarily be. It's like yeah. saying... To, Something of the sort of in the state. But the point, the point is, isn't, well, isn't, that what, isn't that what the point is supposed to be? I was going then, to add that. That's parliament is supposed to interrogate. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. me address it. No, I'll just paste it. Yes, then yes, then you address it. I wanted to add to this and then to make it so that YB can address those two issues. Take care, don't put your hands in. Oh, sorry. Sorry. You're going to sue him. There you are. You're going to The other side also was that there was the possibility of also improving yes. whatever yes. the issues were with, with the current uh, uh, register, the register yeah. at a certain cost. Yes. You understand? Let so me address there's that. that debate also that instead of going for something brand new, mm. there could be the improvement to upgrade whatever yes. they have now Let so that we could that. go through the election yes. and yes. then it never, it never works. Okay. Let me take a quick break and then yeah. you can address that okay. issue. If you have a big issue, right back. If you are involved in any Okay, so we are back. My panelists are still engaged with each other. But lawyer, yes, we have two quick points then you can wrap up. On Franklin's uh, thing. It is now that this report, the com uh, Parliament works in committee, mm. and committee develops a report and brings it to plenary. Mm. So the committee which deals with the EC is the Special Budgets Committee. Okay. The majority leader chairs it, and the ranking member, the next most senior person, is the deputy minority leader. Mm. They meet the independent constitutional bodies, mm. the budgets that are not supposed to be subject mm. to anybody cutting them out, and the judiciary's budget, all those. They meet. So that's a special budget committee. Mm -hmm. So now the special budget committee has met the EC, not all of us, the special budget and have developed this report. Okay. So this report has the request for 2020 in there. Mm -hmm. And we are going to debate it this morning. I see. Okay. Uh, in fact, they may be on the floor now debating it whilst I'm here. Oh. And yeah, yeah, they are debating this morning. And their conclusion, how patriotic he is. their conclusion he to come and is not that they are here. rejecting the new register. They are rather saying that the uh, the commission should be funded mm -hmm. in order to deliver on its mandate. On its mandate they are sure. endorsing that the government should fund the commission mm -hmm. to deliver on its mandate. Exactly. So this report, per se, does not reject mm -hmm. a new register. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. So parliament is going to debate it this morning and determine whether or not uh, we are happy and comfortable. I'm, not, I'm sure it's going to be tumultuous mm -hmm. because the arguments will be on both sides. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, at the end of the day, there will be clarity. Okay. It will be a document of parliament. Right. Now... Do Dealing you? with me, yes, it's a very legitimate mm -hmm. request. And, and perhaps what hasn't happened is numbers yeah. and the legacy issues. Because yeah. the NDC are saying that, repair it. So they also believe that there's some level of tweaking. Mm -hmm. As it sits, it's not to everybody's liking. Mm -hmm. So the question always comes to the cost of repair as against it's replacement. Expensive. You go to refurbish an existing building. <laughs> and the windows, you want to put aluminum windows because it's more modern and it has shutters. Mm -hmm. Then you hammer the window out mm -hmm. and the wall cracks <laughs> at the bathroom end. It's happened to all of us before. Mm -hmm. By the time you are done, you have demolished the building. Yeah. And it's costing you two times. By the time you are done, you have demolished the building slowly and gradually. Now you have to rebuild it. Sometimes it is just easier to build a new one. Particularly with IT systems, because you have legacy issues. Mm. IT systems run on different operating systems and otherwise. And you go in there, there's a solution service provider mm. who tells you that this equipment I have given you is at the end of its useful shelf life. Mm. Uh, uh, I can't, I don't have the space. Mm. I have new systems, I have new software that will not integrate and fit with this. Because software is always developing. There's some kind of software that brews black coffee. There's new software that pours it from the heavens. You can't mix it with the one that brews it from the bottom. So the, even the service provider is telling you that what I have now, <laughs> I, 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 it's at the end of what I can do with it. I don't have spares for it. It's simply gone. So the question of whether it can be improved should be addressed strongly, firmly, and decisively by the EC. Sure. And it's also in my utility question, when I'm asking whether there is anything at all that can be done with that machine. I am convinced that given the opportunity, 
given the time, we should write a new one. The legacy issues, building on the old, mm. trying to, you know, tinker with what is there. I, I feel it's a path that could be detrimental. But it is not for me to argue it for the EC. It is for the EC to demonstrate it to the public mm. very clearly that mm. this is not an option. Okay. It's on the table, but it's not an option. Okay. And I agree with the NDC to that extent. That do that demonstration. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. Because resources, we as a nation, will provide and ought to provide because we have a major stake in all elections. And this election is no more crucial than any other elections that we have had. It's all about performance. After the NPP, we believe we've performed. So we are not worried about outcomes and that it is an electoral uh, uh, process that will protect us we don't believe in fact since the 2013 uh, uh, supreme court mm. petition mm. i don't think our society particularly thought leaders in our society should be condoning the assumption of uh, uh, rigging and all that it, it does us a disservice that was a process that thoroughly analyzed what we have and what we do bottom line is that do your work properly and the people will reward you or disappoint you. So, so let us not beat war drums. Let us not create the impression that once one group is in charge, uh, one group is in power, they have all the means at their disposal to extend, elongate, uh, determine their future based on the manipulation of the electoral system. The rules don't admit of it. The constitution mm -hmm. says it's an independent body and performance doesn't admit of it. You cannot deceive the public all the while. I see that you are twisting the thing to your benefit. All right. So well, let's be let's not be emotional. Okay. Let's bring trust in this. Let the EC be up and doing on the questions that must be answered. And I think that the resources will be available and the goodwill is there. Okay, let me go to lawyer. I want to wrap this up and then we can talk. Hey. You can explain to me why the president has spent on, almost on seventy million Ghana CDs. Traveling well, you should, around the a world. You shouldn't be allowed yes, because you don't believe in elections at in, at, at this big level. <laughs> you always just twisting <laughs> what I say. I don't like that. Because don't, the point is, I have said no, this. No, 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 don't explain yourself. Don't explain yourself. People understand you. People understand. Don't let people understand you. People understand you. It's important that. You don't know what it is. It's important that we make it clear. It is clear. They did not even campaign on the fact that they won't dispute the elections to be political. Oh. You should tell us whether they did. They didn't. They didn't. You said and, it's not in their manifesto. And none of them, no. It's not in their manifesto. No, it's not. It's they didn't not. say we should be on political grounds. None it's of true. the parties campaign on that. Yeah. Look. And uh, he can tell you. Look, it's just no. distracting. So, no, 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 You've allowed to lead so, to. So it doesn't matter. Let you I mean, digress. So, so the, Focus on the The, the, the point. Yes, the issue. Yes, <laughs> me the point. Last year, I mean, last week, I said that. Mm -hmm. I didn't find it convincingly necessary. Because I had not been convinced that it was necessary for us to start a whole new register. Mm -hmm. Because I remember the last time we were doing a new register, we were made to believe that it was going to be up to scratch. And that for some time, mm -hmm. or if not, maybe as time goes on forever, it was going to be just upgraded and updated. Mm -hmm. That's the impression. So if, and it's just about four years yeah, now. Then yeah, this yeah, says, yeah, yeah. this was supposed to last for a decade. This, for, for, for confirm with us. My briefing from the party was that there was a consensus at the at IPAC some time back that at post-2016, every month, we are going to open the register for all those who were 18 years to be put on so that it was going to be a continuous registration so that we can keep the, 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 the basic the, data uh, uh, and that's the point the, the basic point data really, we're going to that, that we have that is the dynamic register yes which we haven't moved on to yet okay. but, but, is but, but the question is the question you've raised there also goes to the resilience of the systems that you have. Right. If you don't design from the beginning okay. systems that can be continually upgraded. upgraded, then you have a situation where you are trying to put new Too things much. into, yeah. okay. and, and it will burst. So yeah. it Point you see, well, the, the constitution doesn't say that we should set aside a day or number of days to register. At any point in time, someone is 18 years and is of sound mind. He qualifies to be registered. Yeah. But that's why we need a Ghana card. Yeah. Oh, the Ghana card, sometimes we forget that the qualifications are two or three, Ghanaian, 18. <coughs> and in some mind, the Ghana card doesn't register 
Sound the mind. Sound 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 Cannot register people who are not of sound mind. Yeah, yeah but it's the part of the qualification. But the the NIA has to work with the constitution in mind. They can't just work. No, they in have a mandate. No, then a Ghanaian is Ghanians. different from look. And he doesn't you can fix from a Ghanaian of sound mind. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The you, can, so, you, you can fix all this if we integrate. If we integrate everything into the national, uh, the births and deaths register. Yeah, that's because the part of that. That, that has that's to be the core. Every child born in this country is supposed to be registered with births, and, and when but they how die, how do you prove that a person is normal simply by <laughs> by no? We, so, we so you, see, you don't, prove, you don't day, prove normality. You see, at the end of you, the day, you, you the EC will still have to, have have to have register their, their register mm -hmm. source from national it has NIA to be for births and or deaths. Birth and death. My point is that they still have to have a unique register. As for mm -hmm. the source or the the sourcing or the facility to source, it doesn't matter where they get it from. But their register must show that they have complied with the provisions of the constitution. But do they check for uh, the mental capacity of everybody that comes to... Oh. No, no, it's not really a key part of the raised, conversation. You don't have, when you don't have it, it can be raised. But so the point, the point is that I, I haven't still been convinced that we actually need a totally new one. Okay. And especially looking at the amount. First of all, we are told that they presented it together with the 400 million or so. The government didn't grant that one. Oh. No, it's we were told that they brought 1.8 something. It's not 1.9. 1.9. And, and, and the government change decided to, to give them a billion change. And that included the new register. Yeah, what yes. has been granted yes. them includes so the, the new register, the, government the cost of the election and the operational So I'm saying that the fact <laughs> that the government didn't grant them the 1.8, but rather 1.2 to use it for the register, what, what is the necessity for no, the in addition extra to the money that they already have that they didn't expect? Yeah, so I'm saying that then what is the necessity for so, going to parliament for an additional 400 so million? So the question you are asking no. is what's the cost of running the elections? It's Does it include the, the cost register. of the new register? So, yes. okay, so it's it's that the one billion plus the I don't, I don't think, so. yeah, uh, I don't think, uh, honorable, there are two years, so we have to. Uh, I don't think, honorable, uh, Babin is saying okay. that he's, he's the, going to the give government has granted money for a new register. No, he said that one point, the one billion plus that they gave they included. Include the 400 million. Include yes. the registration, yes. the yes. fresh really? registration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So register. I'm saying that if the government has considered that based on intelligence and data, then there's no need for them because I'm also looking at the additional. I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised that's what they've done because I think. Yeah, yeah, let me look at this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think parliament. so. 2020 budget okay. allocation, and then this, this is a privilege. Yeah, yeah. I'm quoting straight from a document that hasn't been accepted mm. by the plenary. Mm -hmm. It's a, a committee report okay. being debated now. So, it's so a recommendation. I, I, it's a recommendation. I'm afraid that uh, I have to breach that protocol. Um, 2020 allocation by sub program. We will praise you in the public. Don't worry. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it says management and administration, 303 million. Mm -hmm. Electoral services, 760 million. Mm -hmm. okay. A total of 1 million and 63, 1 billion mm -hmm. and 63 million. Then it's broken down mm -hmm. into sub programs. Mm -hmm. So the sub program electoral services compilation of the voters register yes. four four three million yes. oh, so and, it's part and of then the one, conducting one elections two hundred and eighty seven million mm -hmm. yes. and then voter and electoral education twenty seven million. So what yeah, you so, cut so something? What it actually means our elections are actually uh, the cost of running elections actually. is actually reducing. Yeah. Yes. But if the only component if we don't do the new yes. one. So that that mm. means that you but, reduce but by four hundred million. But I have a when they procured those machines the last Why? time. Were there no guarantees that mm. the machines would be serviced at some, some point? Some of them are just years, long years, is it really? like 2016. No, has, is that what no, the EC has said? Some of them are, oh, okay. were bought in 2016. Yeah, but the EC needs to tell us yes. whether this that's condition... So that point the has, has been made. That's why it says that the EC needs to come and prove. Very, very that's important. the point. Yeah. Yes. It's important. Before Parliament be, even grants there has this, to be, there has to be somewhere a report 
uh, con uh, 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 generated by the EC. IT department IT, of the EC. Yes. But she said the IT department doesn't even exist. <laughs> that, no, makes it has been re that makes the case. That makes the case. That makes the case for when she took over. Yes, yes, but they rebuilt it. If if the memory is not big enough, if the processing the processor it's not big enough, it's not fast enough. Mm. If um, additional features which they want to build in cannot be handled by the existing software, etc., 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 then we, and we need 400 more million. It's a simple justification. But the point is that at what point in time are we going to stop coming back never. to conduct never. new one? Never, so yeah. what okay. is the assurance? Never. I think, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I, yeah, I think we have... Never. Uh, the, 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 the is, with IT systems, we have there's, clarity always, on the matter. there's always a continuous evaluation. Must it be four years? No, there always, there always has to be a continuous evaluation of the capacity of the software to be able to deliver the outcomes. Yeah, we can be replacing the them. Okay. We can be yeah, gentlemen, it's okay. It, it it gentlemen, work. I think no, the point is made. Yeah, the right. point is made. It doesn't work. We have we have about twelve it's minutes. It's a software more. matter. Lawyer Paul, <laughs> we have twelve minutes. I just want to use that twelve minutes okay. to uh, start from Talk Franklin. Talk about football. No, start from oh. Franklin quickly on uh, how did you feel when you heard we had spent seventy million on foreign travels and related expenses the first nine months? Oh, this well, I is. tend to look at the obviously the conversations about the the the, the office of government. I mean the machinery. Yeah. And what constitutes what yeah, it's, always been your baby. it's always been our baby. You remember mm -hmm. February 2017, we wrote that the if we really wanted to stamp our corruption and waste, it should start from the Office of Government Machinery. Mm. Only because we've seen consistently over time the the sometimes budgeted <coughs> and over overrun budgets as well. Uh, I must admit that the figures I saw are not in the realms of what we saw pre. 20s, uh, well, after, uh, after pre 2017. Pre 2017. Mm. Yeah. But at the same time, it also needs some further interrogation. I would expect that the reasons for travel refreshment must be must be done. As a refreshment, I, I think those things are. <laughs> 1.9, 1.9. Uh, I leave those for the, the politics. But I think that it's important to know those big budget items that are there. It's very important to know. Mm -hmm. But again, well, I always like to end with this quote by a friend that, look, governments usually have nothing to give you in the first place except what they take from somebody. And a government that is big enough to give you everything you want <coughs> will take the little that you have. So if this means that anything at all, <laughs> if this means anything at all about the uh, animal called big government, um, maybe 70, how much? 72 million. Yeah, mm. 70 million for travels. Yeah. Per the size of the government and the fact that the president likes to rationalize that, look, I need this size to be able to execute my policies. The questions people would ask really at the end of the day, because he said the question, mm. is whether those questions have been answered. Can I have my... my yes, mm -hmm. quickly. I think that it speaks to a uh, sad... Uh, sad. Yes, yeah, sad. <laughs> this is sad. You know, when when you read some of the speeches, and sometimes just for just for my own education and for my own reflection, I go on YouTube and just listen to candidates, Nana uh, Kufuado, and how he used to hit at President Mills for publicly spending. I listen to my old good friend YB. I used to hold his press conferences, popularized that word, and, and his, uh, his <laughs> press conference, <laughs> his press conferences <laughs> that yeah, they, are, they are spending the, the government is is, is is big and we are we are spending on on, on frivolous things and and and. and who hit and hit and oh, see, all of them are on YouTube. So just watch the yeah. white guys. And then when you are in government and the language and the you know, but I, you I just pray. But you I, just, I, 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 just, I just, I just, well. I just, I just pray that you know the the people of Ghana are always the discerning um, um, viewers and listeners and judges. Uh, a government that refuses to still acknowledge the fact that it has the biggest government ever in the Fourth Republican Constitution, under the Fourth Republican Constitution. You know the largest number of ministers, you see, and then the difference between the uh, refreshment in the president's office and the vice president's office is just a few pesos. Each of them, one point nine million, one point nine million. You wonder what is being drunk, you know, when because you wonder whether when the person moves from the from, the from the from the president's office, he goes to the vice president's office, and they and they and they and they, and they quickly they drink, you, you know, they drink this. You just, I mean, you just. They're drinking it's, tea. They're drinking it's, tea. It's, 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 it makes you wonder sad. when a former president has in his class. How we just say this that in this harsh, uh, in this rather painful 
economic difficult, time, challenging difficult times. economic times where yeah. people can't one million people have are coming to spend uh, let, him go, let him go so that everybody three can square have meals a day no and you are you wake up and you realize that the president travels alone 70 million cities in nine months in nine months you might as well you buy know, a new jet it's 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 like sad, you know. But, 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 but you want to also fresh. admit that if you look at the president's IG calendar, uh, there's been a lot of summits. <laughs> these are not friendly. These are not holidays. Uh, a lot know, of them when, 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 have when, looked when, like when, when working President trips. Mills will travel, and you have my good friend say that you know the president is traveling too much, and you know he should should sit in the country and deal with the harsh economic times in the country. You know. And so now that the shoe is on the other foot, I just I'm just I'm just asking Ghanaians to remember that whilst they are spending this Christmas in this rather difficult times, their president and the vice president's refreshment are alone is million. one point nine million cities okay. with a few points to differ. I've heard you. And Let me that the you. president yeah. 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 seventy million yeah. cities in nine months. Yeah. I just want yeah. 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 to reflect yeah. on yeah. that. Yeah. That is yeah. all yeah. I will say. Why do you have two minutes? Then I go to the Christmas day of Doctor John saying that we are having a Makuyirawa Christmas. So go. Yeah, but the bottom line is that on this point, Franklin was very clear. 70 million compared to what? It probably could have been more. This is the Office of Government Machinery. And as you rightly observed, there have been summits, there have been issues. What is the performance outcome? We are trending towards becoming the largest recipient of foreign direct investment in West Africa now. We have managed to set up this standard where now the year of return, if built on, could turn into something else, a, a, a gold mine in tourism. These things didn't come by chance. The president has traveled, and the president has traveled forcefully and has achieved results. And the travel budget is not just for the president. It's for the Office of Government Machinery. So we are looking at expenditure in so-called big government, and we are still ahead of the loop. If you look at big government, then it's not that far ahead. We, we don't want to uh, uh, do the equalization thing. But here you are, you also have a chart of accounts that can be referred to. We have had situations where $600 million has been squandered without even uh, an IOU showing what happened. And we all saw the results. We can't go back to that era. Mm -hmm. We need responsibility. So part of responsibility is that you justify whatever you do with the accounts. Mm -hmm. Now, big, big, big government, you see, frankly, in this country, everything has to be decided by a politician. Mm -hmm. You are there, somebody comes, oh, you see what the big man be bad. You have public servants, civil servants being paid to execute government business will never move unless they have a direct uh, response from a politician. So the president says that to execute my agenda, I need people who have authority in specific subsectors to be able to drive the agenda there. And the results, my performance will show. And where we sit now, I think the indices are extremely positive. Honorable, well, okay. can I jump in quickly? Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. definition of big government is not necessarily the numbers, mm -hmm. but the overall expenditure pattern of government. Yeah, but so see, not, I'm also not, saying mm -hmm. that frankly, those, those, your, your met, your those expenditures are showing a very see, net high yeah, yeah, yeah. refreshment. Yeah, yeah. What about the refreshment? Net high refreshment. 1.9 million on refreshment. Yes, it's, ah. it's, it's, it's not. 1.9 million. It's okay. For the numbers of people who expect. Look, when he saw in the judges, they were refreshed. Okay. When we had the media soiree, they were refreshed. Okay, you think These are the people of Ghana. The vice going president's to the presidency, office, the, office the vice the president is probably busier than the president. Oh, so 1.9, 1.9 is fine. You see, see the me. semantics of the figures <laughs> is fucking <laughs> public. <laughs> but the reality, I'm the reality, the reality, the reality is that this is not you drunk by the vice president. Yes, yes. This is the vice president hosting Ghanaians okay. to public events okay. about Ghana. At 1.9 and at 1.9. It took over nine months. Okay. 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 Over nine months. Sydney, you wanted a quick say on this. <laughs> over nine I'll, give you, I'll, give you, I'll give you two minutes and we'll go and wrap up today. I don't know whether we have two minutes, but let me take an even shorter road. Look, okay. I have been a, a, a financial controller all my my life mm -hmm. uh, at least since I qualified yes and I moved on the Excellent harsh decisions one. are always the ones that you have to take and not have to tell the rest of the staff and your people that we are spending so much on so much so when come the end of the year you decide you will spend 300,000 CDs on hampers and stuff like that 
it's a very, very difficult choice to go and tell the rest of the staff because the first thing they will say, ah, so you have 300,000 and you didn't give us bonuses. <laughs> mm -hmm. That argument you will always have. And you know, when you're in the finance world, you make those difficult decisions as you go forward. Nobody sitting on the outside can sit back and say 1.9 million is too much. You have absolutely no basis for deciding whether it's too much or too little. What you have to do is to look at the benefits or the results <coughs> that are coming back from the expend that is coming through. I think I'm biased, but I, yeah. I will say everywhere that this government has done a lot mm. for us to be able to get where we are. With we, need to change, we need to change the structure of, this, mm. of the economy of this country. And I think we are beginning now At to see universities. that effort. Whether it be 70 or sure. 700 million, the thing is we are getting somewhere now. One point we are getting somewhere now. The basis of which an economy will grow industrially <laughs> is there. Okay. All right. So if you see so progress, the industry. Oh, right. yeah. But I don't no think. I, 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 I think no, something. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. Two things. I think that Sydney. You have to. Franklin. You have to. Franklin. Sydney. He has just. I think the important thing is one. There is disclosure. One point nine. At least there is transparency about how these monies are were spent at the presidency. There's always been disclosure. There's no, always been disclosure. No, refreshment. No. Ask them for that. We have never had 1.7 million. 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 There's always flowed around. There's always been details. No, but not the details. You are able to compute. No, not the details. But not 1.9 million. No, no, no. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. It's neither here nor there. 1.9 million. It's neither here nor there. This was budget overrun, as it has been the case. So if they presented to Parliament that this is what the President needs. Ate and drank. And Parliament has granted them. My problem would have been where they have overspent. Over, uh, over Actually, there's an, there's an, they, they didn't oh, even overspend. Over over because so as, of September, as of September, the 72 or something million that has been approved, I think only 53 or so million has been spent. So there's no budget overrun as we speak. Yeah, so Parliament has so granted suspect. them based on what they presented. Fine. And it's been spent. It, it may just mean, as some are arguing, that the government is actually working. That is what it's spent. Okay, but your but point is made. Let me, let me, let me thank, let me thank Adam Yabwabi. As NDC, we don't want the government to work. Sydney, member of parliament, we're wrapping up, member of parliament for Adentan. Who is like the uh, Nick Papu said, facing a very tight race, but he's very right. confident oh, as well. Yeah, I've been, been the speaking. The primaries or the national? The national. national. Oh, both by the grace of God are mm. on track. <laughs> well, I spent the primaries in the national. Last time I spoke to me, I was like, just don't worry. Well, by the time we get to the elections, I'll be ready. Well, you know, has a unique history. Yes. One ten MPs throughout. So don't worry. He says he will break it. He will break it. Lawyer Nick Papu said, thank you very much for your education on legal matters, early part of the show. Franklin Kujo from President of Imani Africa. They've been very busy. Well, some of their uh, fellows and uh, leaders have been busy writing articles this week. You should read Bright Simmons this week. Uh, mm. Sydney Kisley Hayford is also uh, a big thank you, Sydney. My name is Godfrey Akutubuaf. It's been a pleasure coming your way. Uh, have a good Merry Christmas from all of us. I think you, we can all say Merry Christmas. So yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. everybody. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. <laughs> See you in the new year. All right. Oh.